Joined by Juanita Markham now, an essential oils uh, expert, we'll call her, although she says she's not an expert. She certainly is well-versed in the essential oils realm. Her website is ichoosetobewell.com as we welcome her in. Choosing to be well, that's something a lot of Americans are not doing, but something we can do with the essential oils. Yes, thank you. Um, we went with the I choose to be well because it kind of give, gives you that idea of choosing to be well. I mean, you, you can make different choices. You can use essential oils from anything from minor cuts and scrapes, bug stings, to um, using them all the way for soothing sore muscles and joints and um, things that could actually even be more serious and more severe. So we'll get into some of the the the, the, do, the you know what each yeah. oil can do. But first, uh, you wanted to point out that essential oils have not been approved by the FDA. Any information that you share or is provided by any wellness advocate should not be construed as personal medical advice or instruction. No action should be based solely on information uh, that you've not researched yourself. So very important to do what Juanita did and really dive in and see what each oil can do. Uh, test it out for yourself. See if it does make an impact. Um, always consult a health professional on any matter relating to your health and well-being. Essential oils, a natural health alternative. And I love right. that because we're in a world with so many prescription drugs where, where folks, they reach, even if it's just the Tylenol, you know, you're reaching right. for that and that's kind right. of how, how you control pain. But uh, just the other night I had a headache and had a little peppermint oil, put it on my, my head and, and boy, right away yeah. you saw the soothing effect and, and it's a very natural alternative. Right, and you also get other benefits. So each oil actually does a lot more than what you might be using it for. Okay. So peppermint, for example, is one that you can also use to help with respiratory and it's also wow. good for digestion. Um, so you, you get a lot more effects other than if you get a Tylenol, it is meant just, you know, mm. to kind of help with pain. Right. So, and, you know, potentially some side effects on there. <laughs> I'm a broadcaster. I lose my voice every once in a while. What can I do when that, you know, the dry throat, the scratchy throat comes my way? Lemon is a really good one for dry throat. So it, it goes in and it, it kind of actually even helps to um, hydrate you a little bit more. Okay. So take it with water. And of course, getting some extra water in with that kind of thing is going to help a lot. Um, and lemon is really good at, to help clean out toxins. And getting toxins out of your body is a really big thing. So we don't really realize how much we deal with in toxins with the environment right. around us and processed foods and all of that. So it's, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> a lot of times, I know the essential oils, you, you put it on for a momentary relief mm -hmm. and for a short period of time, but as you really envelop these into your life, you can see a difference in your lifestyle. How quickly would you say? Um, essential oils are 50 to 70 times stronger than herbs. Wow. And as long as you have an essential oil that is quality, um, that is, is pure, doesn't have the herbicides, the pesticides, and the fillers that mm. are in there, you could actually see results immediately. Oh, wow. And um, the way, good way to look at it is that if you're dealing with something that just came on, mm -hmm. you probably are going to see a quicker result than if you're dealing with something that you've had for a long time. Okay. So, like, you had a headache that came on, <laughs> you can put the peppermint on, right. and you're going to see a pretty quick result. Um, versus if you're, if you're dealing with something um, that perhaps is like chronic pain, okay. it might be something that you're going to have to use more consistently in order to be able to, to see better results and long-term results. And one example that I was, I was told when I, when I first dove in, I actually um, attended a lot of different classes. I mean, I was just kind of a sponge, just soaking in all the information yeah. I could get. And a class that I attended, they were talking about a lady that was dealing with, um, she was actually dealing with arthritis. Wow. And so they, somebody had suggested that she use oils to help soothe joints and muscles. And she had a lot of trouble with her knees and with her knuckles. And so she started using um, the soothing blend, which is really good for joints and muscles. And she's using it on her hands, and about a week later, she realized that her knees were also not hurting. Oh, wow. So the consistent use mm -hmm. actually spreads throughout your body and, mm -hmm. and will help with that. And oils take about 30 seconds to get into your system okay. and about 20 minutes to get through your entire body. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it goes through your whole body in yeah. 20 minutes. It'll go through your whole body. Very yes. impressive. Now, yes. it seems like there's a lot of different oils. You mentioned a soothing blend. Yes. 
how do we learn which oils to use where and when do you put some together? Well, that's a really big question that I get because when people come in, they're a little bit overwhelmed. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like standing in front of a waterfall and trying to get a glass of water. And um, having somebody that's familiar with oils is a really great way to get help with understanding and starting to learn. Um, there's materials out there that you can use. Um, I do an education class once a week at the library. Oh, great. When is that? And it's normally, it's on Thursdays. Okay. So if you go out to my website, I have an events page that oh, I great. post those out there. Now, we don't always do it at the library, but most of the time we're there on Thursdays at 6 p.m. And um, we just kind of change it up on different topics. Okay. And we take in things that people are interested in. And I'll go back and research those, talk <laughs> to other people. And it's a great way for me to continue learning. Right and it also helps me then to share that information with other people and i have a group of people that i can take things back to and ask and get information Excellent. for people that have had experience where maybe i haven't right. in some of those so working with others is a great way um, and then there's a lot of material and you've got to be able to kind of vet the information online right. as to what's good and what's not right. and getting getting a baseline is a really good way to do that too um, to figure some of that out so that's it's one of my missions. When I got started with the oils here in Lima, I said I wanted to create an oil community here in Lima and I wanted to educate Lima on essential oils. Awesome. And I think we're doing a, a pretty good job at, at heading that way. <laughs> and e even though this may be something new to viewers, it's, yeah. it's not something new. Essential oils have been no. around since the Bible times. Yes. Frankincense, which we read about, uh, a gift for Jesus, that's yes. one of the essential oils as well. These are things that God has given us mm -hmm. to help our bodies. Yes, frankincense and myrrh. Um, are both very, they're just incredible oils. And it's like the more that I learn about both of these oils, mm -hmm. it's like, I just, I kind of get goosebumps now even just <laughs> thinking about it. Um, frankincense is actually called the king of oils and it was used in uh, the birth as well as in Jesus's death. Yeah. So, and um, it was, it, it's used for everything. It actually helps cells to be able to kind of regenerate and be reprogrammed oh, in the wow. body. And it is one oil that you can use to help other oils to be more effective. Okay. So it makes your body even more receptive. Um, so if you are dealing with something that seems to be persistent, um, something that's kind of chronic, you can use that um, frankincense on top in order to make the other oils even more effective. Gotcha. Um, and frankincense alone does all kinds of, of just really great things. And, um, you know, the FDA is kind of particular that we're not allowed to say frankincense you know does this right. specifically in some of those kinds of things right. but if you just take frankincense and look up cancer and type those in hmm. um, no specific brand you just type in frankincense and cancer okay. on the internet on google you'll find a lot of different research that is going on oh wow and so i always encourage people you know to do right. those kinds of research and kind of find out for yourself you know don't just take it because i said so. right right you know go back and actually start looking up information on your own and you'll find out a lot of different things that oils can do so well, lots of good information you can get more information at i choose to be well.com you can email juanita juanita markham uh it's juanita at i choose to be well.com and of course the lyman public library uh, stop by one of her weekly sessions and get some questions answered a great way for healthy living uh, here on faith and friends